Hey guys, what's up? It's been a while since I've done any videos, any run videos or anything. I apologize for that, but I uh, injured myself at work at my second job. I pulled a tendon in my neck and stuff and in some uh, ligaments and was told uh, no lifting and take some rest. So had a weight limit, so I took a little break. But in a little update, put the heavy-duty nylon stock uh, A-arms up there. Since I keep on, the last two times I went and tested on the drag strip, it uh, busted this side right there at the little loop there where the ball joint goes through. But yeah, updated that. Haven't done the back, but that's going to be next. Got to kind of take it easy. I'm still healing up, but... But yeah, got new tires on it. Hostel slicks again, but the soft compound. We're gonna see how those hooked up. The hard ones did great on a prep prep surface on the 330. On the 330, it was wheels up. I uh, was out of wheel, wheelie bar. It was it was pretty wild to control. I have a uh, one time on it. It was slow because it was. Uh, when it wheelied up on me and I was all over the track in and out with throttle trying to get it all straight but I think at the 330 after almost wheeling into the uh, guardrail and then getting it all straightened out and hit it again it wheelied and it almost went across the center line <laughs> lit out again and got it all straightened out but it was like something like nine seconds which I know it's way 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 faster than that on a 330 but uh, then after that, it lost signal and it busted the lower A arm. I don't know why it keeps on doing that after there's almost at the eighth and mile mark, it loses signal. We'll figure that out the next testing. But yeah, hostile slicks. Um, getting ready to do the back A arms. I don't know if I'll do it today, maybe. But uh, put the new A arms orange, just like back here, uppers and lowers. The two speed, it's kind of giving me. Th it's uh when I had the 36 cc the roving in it I had it shifting it a couple times and then I put the OBR in it and it shifted a couple times after I installed the motor but I'm not sure if I'm missing that sweet spot to make it shift every time or what but we're still working on the two-speed it's got a mind of its own one time will hit the next time it won't but we're still working on that. I ain't gonna give up on it yet. If it don't work out, and then it kind of looks like the two speeds are kind of far in between. Skunk works can't get them no more. Uh, Black bone, they're gone. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to keep on looking out for a two speed, but I'm gonna work on this one and try to keep her, keep it on there. But if not. That's just part of the game. We'll replace it. Uh, my front brakes, I haven't done nothing with them. I'm going to get a new battery, higher upgraded battery, so it has more volts, more power to power the, the Savlock servo to run the brakes. Because it's well needed because my shutdown time, I need a lot of room. <laughs> Lots of room to shut her down. But the OBR, that thing's sweet. I'm thinking about putting a, an OBR in that one. Think about making them both powered by OBR. But yeah, did the upgrades up front. Not really an upgrade, just replacing it. Hell, everything on here, the everything you see that's plastic is almost two years old. All the black is almost two years old. Besides the one that I had replaced up here when I first got it and wrecked it. I had to replace that. I was two years. It was about a year. But yeah. Probably might get to do some runs today. I don't know. It's trying to rain stuff. But we'll get there. I want to get that two speed figured out. And then start getting some time. And see how fast this baby really is. <laughs> She's fast. I know that. I noticed the difference when we went on the prep track. Boy, it's... You get grip, and boy, those front wheels are to the sky. Um, 
I'm thinking about making me my own wheelie bar. I'm thinking about a dual wheel. Got that in the plans. Really haven't did anything, laid it out or cut it out yet, but that's coming. Definitely need a wheelie bar if I'm running prepped on the streets that really, you know, with these, you really don't get enough grip to pull a wheelie. I guess you'd, I'm on asphalt places you could, but so far it just spins, but on the streets but uh yeah that's where we're at uh sorry i haven't been much run videos but they'll be coming guaranteed they'll be coming got both of them back up and running i got the other one good and solid and it's ready to go so you'll probably see me and my buddy drag racing he's together on my traxxas system right you guys have a good day brat tastic out